As Nairobi's population continues to grow, the challenges of transporting the millions of commuters in the Kenyan capital keep growing too. Bus operators who are already struggling to ensure the timely and smooth transportation of passengers have also had to deal with other challenges. Fuel prices have shot up in recent months. That's why the entry of Swedish technology company Rom has generated excitement in Kenya. The farm has developed high-capacity electric buses that can carry up to 90 passengers. This means the buses are cheaper to operate in the long run. Besides being, uh, the, this bus being electric, it's all about dignifying people in public transport, starting first of all with the driver, the passengers, because how we made this bus is to make sure that the driver is comfortable. We're also looking at inclusivity of, you know, of all people, whether you're on clutches or you're on a wheelchair or you, you can't go up steps. That's definitely what we've looked at. So we have priority seating, we have a wheelchair area that you can dock a, a wheelchair. And you have very comfortable seating to make sure that, uh, you, you know, the difference between the matatu and this is so significant, especially even in dried comfort. So what we purpose to do is to make sure that we provide a reliable, clean, efficient and inclusive public transport. And the most important thing is static and we start now. Rome Rapid has an extended range that enables the operators to run their buses for a full day without worrying about charging. It also has the ability to fully charge in less than two hours through direct current charging ports, giving operators the full flexibility to decide their charging and operating schedule. The of the battery pack on this bus is, is uh, over 300 kilometers, 350 kilometers on one charge, which means in kilometers wise you can actually operate much longer than, than a normal diesel engine. Before you need to replace the powertrain for a diesel engine, uh, this one will last much longer. According to the Kenya Power and Lighting Company, they'll be putting charging stations in various parts of the cities and for Rome, they've started receiving orders for the electric bus. We have excess energy available at night. It is not being used. So this immobility space gives us a good opportunity for that available power in the night to be utilized so that we have a win-win situation from the generation side, from the utility side, and from the immobility uh, players side. The focus for the bus has been to design a robust vehicle with best-in-class carrying capacity, range and comfort to enable mass adoption of clean transport across the continent.